Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this Tricks and Techniques video. This is the one thing that I'm asked for every week. How to use a cutting knife. Now I truly believe that I can't teach you how to use a cutting knife. I can show you how I use mine. I can give you tips of what to do when you're using it. But the main thing is practice. Practice makes perfect. It's the same as so many things in life. If you don't practice it, you'll never get the technique. Everybody will hold it differently and everybody will want a different weight or um, size of knife. And it's what's going to suit you. So it's just the case of giving it a go, being patient with yourself and practicing. And then eventually you'll be able to cut out something like this. Now... I've cut this out with a craft knife just to show you how intricate you can get and then you can also do something like this with a craft knife um, and this with a craft knife and eventually with practice and patience you'll be able to build up and do things like this. I find it very therapeutic. I wish I had more time to use it. Now I know you could always buy a cutting machine, but it's not that it's not the same really. So well I don't think it is. So what I thought was we're going to start off with just looking at how to actually cut. Rather than cut anything fancy, we're going to cut in straight lines. So this is my cutting knife and it's from Anna Griffin. You always want a cutting mat. Now this is a self-healing cutting mat. Don't use it on your um, Ken Oliver, the very best craft mat, because that's not a cutting mat. It's not self-healing. You'll damage it. So you want something that's um, called a cutting mat with a self-healing um, top, because then... You can cut into it and you'll never know. Okay? So I thought it'd be really cool just to start off showing you how to cut a straight line. So something like this. And I've gone off my line straight away. So just keep going. And then... There we go. So that's cutting it in a straight line. And you can keep going. You do need to have a sharp blade. You want it to be able to be sharp enough to cut yourself and cut through your paper. Once it starts going blunt and your paper starts as you are cutting... As you pull the knife towards you, it will start going a little bit fuzzy or pulling the paper. And then that's the time to be able to change your blade. So I'm just, I know I'm too high for the camera, but I just want to keep going, cutting there. And then what you can do is, as you keep practicing because I hold mine just like a pen really you can keep going and I would practice on straight lines before you start doing anything that's got any shape to it now the trick once you do get to the fact of doing it with shape is you turn the paper with the knife. So you turn it, keep the knife the same, but you turn the paper rather than your wrist, if that makes sense. And it is simply practice. That's all. Practice makes perfect. That's what they say. 
and scraps of paper are ideal because then you can practice on the pattern that you've got on the paper you can practice just with straight lines and once you've built up your confidence and built up what you're doing with your knife how you're holding it what's comfy to you then start on patterns and that is how I use a cutting knife so it is simply using it and using it and then eventually you'll be able to use it and make the most extraordinary embellishments from your papers. So I know this isn't um, a normal project, it's not showing you how to do something that with um, that's fancy but it's showing you just a great technique of how to use a great tool which you'll be able to build up and make the most extraordinary items from because it's just simple perseverance. So I hope this has helped in just using a craft knife. Don't be afraid of it. Keep going with it. Practice, practice, practice. And I know that sounds very old school, but that's all it is. I've used a craft knife since, well, since time began, basically. And it's just having the patience to be able to keep going with it. And I know I'm droning on now, really, but that's all it is. And for anybody that says, oh, I can't use a craft knife, try, because eventually you'll think oh i've done that with a craft knife start with plain paper start using just making fringes just cutting straight lines build up to geo patterns then build up to your fancy patterns your florals etc don't go for anything too complicated first because then you'll think oh i can't do this so that's how i use a cutting knife and I know it's very difficult on camera always to show you the best way to use something as I'm reaching round my tripod that's here. But I hope it's given you a little bit of an insight. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hopefully I shall see you next time.